Hey folks, it's Dave here in the friendly confines of Studio C and doing something a little bit different tonight, having some fun. Uh, I always get questions about some of the things that I use uh, in my videos when I play or just when I play offline. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to go through some of those things that I use to, um, to help me play the games and to make the games more enjoyable. Uh, first things first, as you notice, I got a nice uh, black table here, okay? This is just a, a big piece of fabric I got at the craft store. It wasn't that expensive at all, um, and it just fits over the table just enough here that I get a nice black background, uh, and it's kind of soothing for me to play in a black background, because uh, I don't know if you can see here, but the <laughs> I was playing on this white doily, and you've probably seen that a couple times in some of the videos, so I cover the table here in black when I play and do my videos, and it's so much nicer, okay? So that was the first thing. The second thing is you definitely need a good coaster. This is a New England Patriots coaster, Gillette Stadium. You need a good coaster because when you're playing, you don't want to have any spills, okay? You want to make sure that everything looks good uh, and that you don't spill on cards and you don't make a mess. So it's, it's good to have a nice coaster for your coffee cup, um, especially decaf, decaf coffee when you're playing late at night. So the first thing you want to do is have a nice coaster, all right? Next thing, <laughs> getting on to the serious things. Uh, the most frequently asked question I get is, that the Stanley Cup. Oh, well, let me bring it back here. Where did I get the Stanley Cup? Well, that came in this little set right here. It was just some little, I don't know if it's Legos or what it is, but this is the set that it came with. It came with a couple of dudes here. I think that, that guy's Phil, I'm not sure. Uh, but this is the set that it came with. Uh, it just had a stand, the cup, the, uh, the red carpet, the whole bit. And um, so, but I just took the Stanley Cup off and I put these guys here and I put the cup and I put them away. I break them out once in a while. Uh, but that's where I got the Stanley Cup. It was something off of Amazon that, that was a Stanley Cup presentation. So that's where I got the Stanley Cup. The puck. I always thought, where did you get this little puck? So I use this puck all the time when I'm playing Strat or when I'm playing Hockey Blast. I use this as my one of my markers. Well, that came from this little thing here. Hockey guys. Yeah, if you've ever seen this here, I think there's six teams. It's the original six teams you can get. This one has Boston, New York. It actually comes with a couple of nets, uh, some boards, a little play mat, and a bunch of figures. And uh, once in a while, I use the figures for something, but for the most part, um, I took the puck out, and that's where I got the puck, is right out of that thing right there. Um, the other thing is I'm using that's new is I got this light over here. You can't see it, but I went and I picked up this little LED light. It was at the Christmas tree shop. I think it was 10 bucks. And this thing works wonders. It's got three different brightness settings and it, it, it provides a ton of light when you're doing videos. And sometimes what I do is, uh, is I'll have the iPad sitting here and the light from the top is getting blocked. So if I put up that light here, which is this, I can shine the light underneath and I can see all the cards and all the dice when I'm playing. So I bought this little light here, LED light for 10 bucks. And that's what I'm using right now to film this. So there's a couple of things. Uh, let me see what else. Oh, this is important. This right here, especially if you're playing quick play games, an A to Z printout. Okay, this is um, some uh, about a year ago when I started playing some of the quick play games. Oh, a year and a half ago, whatever. Uh, somebody recommended to print out this, you know, A to Z. Print this out and keep it with you when you're playing quick play games because you're always like, okay, it's an H minus three. Trying to do uh, subtraction with alphabet is not easy. It takes a while, so now you can just look here and point your finger and you can get right to where you need to go in a hurry. So I always have one of these handy when I'm playing, especially quick play games. So the A to Z chart is um, uh, a must-have for quick play games. Oh, what else do I got? Oh, dice. Dice, dice, dice. So um, here's all the dice. Here's some dice. I got two. I got dice. 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 And I bought a, a whole bunch of... Um, dice like that too so yeah you know depending on the game I like to um, use different colors for different teams so if I was playing the Flyers let's say I might use orange if I was playing the North Stars I might use green so if I have the option to use team colors when I'm playing a game I absolutely do I'll break out the team colors so there's some games that you need a red and a white dice or a black and a white dice uh, you know if I want to I might switch it up I might say okay I'm gonna go green and white you know, instead of, uh, you know, the black and white, as long as I know which one's dark and which one's not. So, um, so I, I got plenty of dice and I continue to buy dice when I go into the stores. These things are fairly cheap. Um, 
to pick them up for different colors, but off, off of Amazon, I, order, I bought a whole bunch of different color sixes, and I got um, a whole bunch of other stuff downstairs, but yeah, I like plenty of dice, uh, and I got, these are the square corners, I got some smaller ones of the round corners, and sometimes I just feel like tossing different ones, and, and dice is pretty inexpensive, so I have um, a lot of dice that I like to use on my projects, uh, depending on, you know, what it is. Now, the, um, the, the History Maker Golf, uh, this actually works out well for that because you know the decider die is small and all their dice is small so I still use their small decider die but when I'm when I'm filming it's nice to have big dice like this up oh, sorry big dice like this when you're filming so you can see it a lot better than the smaller ones and uh, so obviously I have the the black and the white and a green and but you also need a gray so I have a I do have a gray it's kind of a brownish gray but I do have all the colors to play history maker dice with my own dice so uh, it's nice to have those there another thing I picked up are, are these right here okay these little guys these work out really well okay when you're playing oh, where it is over here okay when i'm playing hockey blast okay or some other games so you got the cards laid on the table and hockey blast as you do and a lot of times you're putting down a chip well pick up a chip is you can see it's a pain in the neck so what i do is is these like that they're they're so easy to use and um let me back that a little bit so and you pick them right up and you're gone so it's like if you're playing hockey blast another game that you need a chip sometimes these work out well because you can just pick them up you can even pick them all up with one hand and you're done so so i picked up a, a whole smack of these things here with different colors and i use it for different things sometimes i'll i'll use it to mark you know if someone has a penalty or if uh, somebody's got else something else going on so those work out really well um when playing hockey blast those little uh, pick up game pieces I think they're called and again they were fairly inexpensive and I got those uh, on Amazon uh, I just picked up some more chips so these chips here that come with hockey blast I ended up picking up they're, they're called like uh, counting markers or something so what I did is, is um is I went and picked up some different ones so I got this yellow one here and I'm going to use that for my golfers that are sunny because uh, you have some golfers that are sunny, and, with it, and I always forget which one's are sunny. So I got that for sunny. Um, I think I'll use the, the purple for stormy, and I think there was another color in here, uh, green, you know? And maybe I'll use green if they have a special quality, like sometimes a, a, a four, if you roll a four on the golfer, um, then they control the hole no matter what. So I, I got a few different colors here, aside from the red and the blue, and also it gives me some extra red and blues as well when I bought this. So this just arrived today, so um, so now I can uh, sunny and stormy and special ability on my golfer now as well, so I won't have to remember that anymore because I picked up these things here. So yeah, I picked up these little uh, transparent counter chips that are the same size as the one that comes with uh, the, the the hockey blast and all the, all the play games. So I picked up some extra ones so I can have those as well. Uh, what are some other things that I like to use? Oh, um, obviously another big thing that gets asked up is my dice tower. It's a uh, it's a hobby zone dice tower and it's all coated. You can see it's coated on the inside. It's all nice felt and it is whisper quiet. You can't hear any clanking or anything like that. It, it goes pretty well. And uh, so it's great for playing at night so you don't wake anybody up. That's not making all these clanky noises. I did modify mine a little bit. Now this actually comes off, which is nice. So sometimes if I'm playing, I'll just use this by itself and I won't use the tower part of it. So that comes apart if you need to. What I did, <coughs> excuse me, is I put a couple of felt pads on the bottom. So as you can see, it leans. So it, goes, it does one of these so it's not straight. So I, I found that I was dropping the stuff in here and it would sit over here and, I, and I, I couldn't see it. So a little bit of an angle and it tends to roll down a little bit. So I did put a little modification on that. And also with this, what I did is I had these two little dowels and I put them in here. So this actually sits back a little bit and now it rolls forward. So now the dice really come flying out of it. Sometimes they do spill out like that. As you can see, like this one shot right out of the, the tower there. So sometimes some of that angle is a little bit too much, but I do like that it, it, it comes out of the tower and, and I can see the dice every time. That's really good, especially when you're doing a video. It's just, you don't want the, the dice to get stuck over here. So this is a Hoppy Zone uh, dice tower. I think they're about 30 bucks. Um, I got this uh, about a year and a half ago, a friend of mine, that I play hockey with actually runs a uh, gaming store uh, in the Boston area and I said hey you got one of these and he's like yep so he picked one up for me and I paid him at the rink and so yeah so there's the dice tower that works out pretty well oh you also do need um, definitely you want some Altoids they're they're big uh, to keep the throat clear especially when doing a lawn broadcast with Ron you definitely need Altoids uh, what else do I got over here um, these things are kind of nice too 
these are actually little uh, photo booth frames they're called and they do a, a really nice job actually what am I gonna do over here uh, let's do this they do a really nice job for shootout hockey okay so when you're playing shootout hockey and if you're playing on the table they hold these cards up really nice I can't really see there but um, see how they stand up really nice they're they're fantastic for that so if you need something to stand up these little clear things they're not expensive at all that's what they look like you can even put them on the side if you want and I got two different sizes okay so I got the the big ones that I use for shootout and I also have the smaller ones here and and these work out well um, so they'll, they sit like this and the smaller ones actually work out pretty well uh, this is a strat card so the strat cards actually work pretty well here you can probably use the bigger ones too but uh, these work well with the strat ones and what I find is that if I flip them like this they work out really nice for the the hockey blast goalies okay so if you need goalie set up here you can have them aiming at you like that when you're playing hockey blast I'm bring that back a little bit there you go so they do stand up like this and they do stand up like this and they work really well for for different things uh, if, you, if you want cards especially at an angle sometimes cards that are flat on the table you're always looking like this so to have them uh, at an angle as well and what they work really well for these things right here is the uh the shootout hockey cards okay these ones are here from shootout hockey the um drive-through cards if you put them like that and you're playing with the fast action cards they sit really nice now you can't really see that because you know the angle here with the light and stuff okay but um you can see that maybe i'll do it from the side so they sit at a nice angle and they're facing you so maybe they're facing me oh there you go so these cards are not sitting flat they're facing me so i can flip these cards and look right at them and sometimes that works out too if you're filming but yeah so those things right there you can see so here's here's flat on the table and here's up so you can see that you know the lights in the, the way you can't really read it too well but yeah so i i like to use these things here uh, when I'm playing shootout with the fast action cards, I will always use those to prop up my cards. Let's see what else I have in my, my goodie bag over here that I haven't shown yet. Uh, yeah, a couple things I like to do is when I'm uh, playing, uh, I like to print out these little labels and then put them on the envelopes and then have the envelopes when I play so I know what teams what I've even done that with strat so if I'm playing strat you know I'll have the strat cards with the, the logo sitting on in front of me so um, I, I like to try to get as many as my teams as I can into here and then I leave that on the table when I'm playing and you can see the logos and it's it's something simple but it is kind of fun uh, I like looking at logos when I play so that's another thing that I like to do uh, get more of the dice oh you have the gray ones here these come in handy for uh, uh, history maker golf i just bought a couple of crazy colors i didn't think i would need gray but i was like that came in handy uh let's see um the wood base this thing here it's just called wood base okay um and it, what this does is it works really well for strat you probably see me on these strat videos in fact I, I just bought this at a craft store and it was just a couple of bucks and i, sh I think i bought them all and i should have i should have bought more because what these do um, if you're playing strat, especially strat hockey, you can get three cards across, okay? So you can see I can fit three cards across, and I can put them in order. Now, I got the little thing on here, but I mean, I'll take that off, I guess. So if I'm playing strat hockey, I got my three lines, my forward lines, that is, and I don't have to worry about changing anything. So this little wooden base, which I'm going to try to make a new one, have stadium seating but as you can see uh it does a nice job of holding holding all three lines now the only thing is is if i'm playing okay i will need to pull back the first one so if so if line one is not out there and i need to read line two i need to pull this forwards okay um what is uh pull that okay read line two or you know read line three so that's no nah, i mean it's a trade-off from always flipping the cards on the table but i find that i can peel these back real quick check the shot and put them back and so I'll set up two of these one for each team so my forward lines I never have to fiddle with on the table and it does save some time and as you can see like I say I'm trying to figure out a way that I could you know stack these up a little bit so I could 
so I could stagger them so I could have it something like this so I could read most of the card and still have the option to flip it over so I'm, I'm working on a, uh, a custom one of these but yeah this this little thing here this little wooden thing that's all it is, is a little piece of wood you can see it's got the three grooves in it and I got that at a craft store and and that works out well when I'm playing strat um, and for holding the card so I don't have to worry about flipping the lines so that's another little thing that I use here um, this thing here you've probably seen uh, this is just a little craft thing here uh, I don't know how much it was but I picked this up at the craft store too it's just a little blank sign and you've probably seen these the digital to dice as well as Dave's classic rewind and that's all I did is I picked up a few of these and I printed them out and I have these on the table and um, these might be good for you know if you wanted to put on um, some fake advertisements uh, on your your field or your stadium or whatever or if you wanted to put team logos and you know so you pick up these they're just I think they're like three or four bucks and you can print and put whatever's on here and um you know so you could probably put you know your two teams and put them on either side if you wanted to but they're fun just to have kicking around here as far as stuff on uh, stands into display so and they, again they were fairly um fairly inexpensive let's see what else i got in my bag of tricks here well here's another stand i haven't done anything with this yet uh but that um is another thing i found at the craft store for a couple of bucks and they do uh, you can put a couple of strat cards on here so if you wanted to uh you know put your pictures on there or whatever i mean you could even put them on the ground if you want if you don't want to use the uh the, the clear things that i got here but if you wanted to get something up in the air here you go or if you wanted again if you wanted to put you know something like this on there you could do that but uh the craft stores have all these fun little things that you pick up and they're fairly inexpensive and they can really help you uh you know have a fun time when you're playing your game so let me get this out of here um something else i do a lot of is i'll go to my action pc sports i got some 11 by 14 actually no this is a eight and a half by 14 okay legal sheets and i'll just print out the courts of the rinks uh, just action pc sports so you can see i got some celtics for basketball i got um lakers and then of course i got some seals even did a uh, cleveland barons and the flames and i did a custom uh, uh russian soviet rank for the 72 summit series so you can see that right there and this is all just printouts from action pc hockey uh, right from the folder and you just fit them on an eight and a half by um, 14 sheet if your printer will take it and print them out and i can just put them right here on the table and sometimes i put them in the middle of my game and just it just adds to the experience it makes makes for good video too uh, but for me sometimes it just adds to the fun of things well, let's see. And the last thing that I, I highly recommend are these things right here. Okay? These are just stands. I think I got these at Staples. Okay? And I got two of them, and I tend to use them both. But what they are really good for is they got a little clip, and they hold your play chart. So there's the Strat play chart. So when I'm playing my Stratomatic Hockey, I always clip this right to this. And depending on what I'm playing, sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll put this on something, get it up nice and high so I can see it over the cards or whatever. Um, but these things have been invaluable, you know, for whatever you need um, to, to clip a, a chart to. It even works really well. I'm not going to dig it out over there because my light's <laughs> sitting on top of the book. But the, um, the History Maker golf chart that flips open, I have it flip and it flips right open on this. I keep this off on my left and I can flip the chart. So I have the chart here and the chart at the bottom. And uh, I can see everything here without, you know, having it fall flat on the table. So, yeah, these things here, they got the little clips on the top if you need to grab a piece of paper. Otherwise, they're good for just, you can even just lean things against them, too. You know, if you have some stuff here, you guys put them on and lean them up against it, and there you go. So, uh, I have a couple of those I bought. Again, fairly inexpensive, and these things are, are really great for holding shots and all kinds of things like that. So, um, that's about it here. I just wanted to kind of show off some of the things that I use when I'm playing some of my cards and dice games. Everything from the chips to the Stanley Cup to a few other things I got here. Uh, I'll break them out for videos sometimes. And sometimes I'll even stage them all up here. Oh, and I got my stands. I don't, I don't have my stands with me. Uh, but I do have those, um, 
those metallic stands that I got. That was off an old football game, and sometimes I'll put those around too to make it look nice. But that that was a a find. Uh, somebody gave a football game to me or something like that. But um, but these are all things here that you can pick up at Amazon or Staples or a craft store, and they're fairly inexpensive. None of the stuff I bought here was expensive at all, and they really helped me. Uh, they add to the fun of the game. So anyway, uh, I'm Dave. That's a little behind the scenes with some of the props and some of the things I use to uh, to make my gaming experience a lot of fun. Uh, from Studio C. I'll talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.